So last week we shifted these cows from that half the paddock to this half the paddock. The footage that we got wasn't really that good so we've come out and uh, we're going to do a little bit more. There is 234 cows in this paddock, there's also 7 bulls, we're going to do a shift. We're going to take them down the valley and into the next paddock. <laughs> So no farm in New Zealand that would be complete without a team of working dogs. Jake here makes up uh, one of seven and he is probably described as being my most valuable player, mainstay. He's a hunter with dog and uh, he's actually got a few tricks apart from being a big wuss. He's got a trick he can actually open his own kennel door. Watch this, Jake. So the middle of November rolled around, it was time to shear our ewes. Here is a highlight of day two, which was the shearing of just under 3,000 animals. It's important to note here that none of the sheep were harmed in the shearing of their wool. <coughs>
Job done. So it has been a great morning. So when I'm not chasing sheep and cows, and I'm not trying to be New Zealand's next Rambo, I like to go fly fishing for trout. I don't just like to go fishing, I love to go fishing. Here is a beautiful big rainbow jet in a wilderness stream feeding oblivious to us. It's on the surface, I was able to get into position, the water is gin clear, it's absolutely beautiful. I presented a cast which wasn't exactly perfect, the fish came over and ate it like it was his last supper and the rest was history. What a whopper. This sport I absolutely adore and I wanted to do some more media to show you guys exactly why. Our first actual mission to our local stream here, things didn't quite go as planned. When we arrived at the river it was slightly discoloured so we just decided to work on some shot angles and try and work out how we were going to do this. We decided to fish just a couple of poles and then head home, which would only be an hour's fishing. Here is what happened. Oh yeah, up here, here's one. Right, he is at about 11 o'clock. Guys, here he goes. Yep, got him. Hee hee hee! Alright! Oh! So I came up here the other day and I saw the same trout. It's in the same spot. It's really busy, it's quite hungry obviously. I actually hooked this fish two weeks ago. It broke me off, swam underneath that log and yeah, I was quite angry. So, we come back, this time I've got a cameraman. We have a crack at him from this side of the river. It's hard out feeding so. Back down here, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Got him. Got the bugger. Yes. Here, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Got him. Got the bugger. Yes. Took that nymph. Bloody beauty, and he's a nice fish too. He tormented me for about 20 minutes. I put him back, and someone else can have another go later. Whew. Good day. So, our next mission, which was just yesterday, we wanted to catch a trout on the dry fly. We wanted to get it on the surface. We had one day of good stable weather where there'd be blue skies before some cloud was going to come in and then some more inclement, rainy type, showery type weather which was coming uh, due tomorrow. So we had a little bit of added pressure. Whilst the conditions were perfect, when we got to the river, the trout were just the opposite. They were being bloody difficult. We found two brown trout feeding an easy lie. Either would have done. First cast peeled the bottom one off and sent him packing. Oh, exit stage left trout. Eat a dick. With one trout left, the pressure was on. Cameras were rolling and we were probably going to have a crack at this fish and then go home. Go. 
guys. Here we go. Oh, what the hell happened? <laughs> okay, I struck too hard. I was too excited. There was too much pressure. And that fish was doing things to me. Anyone in the room still learning how to fly fish? Here he goes. The fish still had my fly stuck in its gob. What well, we couldn't believe was the fact that it was still feeding. So I cast again, making sure to avoid landing my fly in that grass above where that fish was sitting. And I don't want to land it in that grass. That will do nicely. That will do nicely. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. No. Eat and spit. This fish was trying to hand me my ass on a plate and send me down to Skunksville. Here he goes. No. I got one more chance this fish. It's still there, it's still feeding. All I need to do is present a cast and keep away from that awful grass that's hanging over his lie. Right. Oh, crap. Got him. Got him. Yep, there. there he is, lovely little brown, probably a couple of pounds, I'll put him back in here, okay. Oh I love it when a good plan comes together, just love fly fishing.